Hey y'all, welcome back to Brave Kids Art Club. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I know I am. I've actually just been spending some time drawing. I know, shocking. And uh, I want to draw a really fun animal with you. This one actually has a lot of really unique, cool facts about this animal that you may not know, so this will be fun too. I know we're drawing, but I also love to learn about animals, so I get excited about that as well. But we are gonna be drawing an owl today. Owls are really fun to draw because you can do all sorts of fun patterns and you can get away with a lot because they're really unique looking birds. And uh, it'll be a, I don't know, it'll be a lot of fun. So you guys ready to draw? All right, let's do this. Okay, so let's make sure that we have all of our tools. Again, we need a pencil, preferably a sharpened pencil. Uh, an eraser, this is one of those sweet, really fun erasers that if I get bored, I can play with. And then also, you get yourself a pen or a marker or something to drop in your dark lines. And then, whatever you wanna use to color with. I'm gonna use loads of these markers and uh, we'll do that at the very end, which is always a lot of fun, so. Let's first, as always, we get to start with the skeleton, not the actual skeleton, but the skeleton of our drawing, which is the sketch. We need to just sketch out the main shapes first, just so we make sure it all fits on the page. Let's start out with this owl. Let's see, how do I wanna make his head look? Let's start off with another one of those oval shapes. So we're gonna do another oval shape, kind of like the tiger drawing that we did. I'm gonna do kind of that oval shape. And we can change this up when we get our pen out. You can always make this look however you'd like. You can clean it up and change the shapes. This is just to help you give you a little guide to what you're doing later. Okay, so let's do, maybe I do another one of those ovals again. We're just gonna, it's very similar to the tiger, except we're gonna make it a lot wider. So we're gonna make a really big wide oval, just a big oval right here. All right. I may not have room for his tail, but that'll be okay. Um, let's see, and then let's do some big eyes. Of course we need the big eyes. So we'll put those right about, right about here. So do some really big circles right here. Really big circles, and then do one kind of close by it. Right here, another one right there. Owls have those really big eyes. Did you know with owls, now this is a really, really interesting fact. <laughs> The reason why owls can move their necks so far, their heads around so far, is because their eyes actually don't move in their heads. Their eyes stay put and they're actually like long uh, tubes, like, uh, like binoculars, so they can see really, really well. But because they have those really tubular eyes, the eyes that can't move, they have to be able to move their whole neck. So that's why they can move their neck almost up to 270 degrees. You can only go around, if you go all the way back around again, that's 360 degrees. So anyways, 270 degrees, that's a long ways. Can you get your neck, how far can you get your neck back? Ugh. I have kind of a sore neck, so mine doesn't go back that far, but it's pretty cool how, how owls can do that. So we got these big eyeballs. Uh, we're actually gonna draw another circle inside them. Let's draw another circle inside them. Slightly smaller, and it's okay if you mess up a little bit. Sometimes I press too hard on my sketches and it gets hard to erase things later, but that's all right. That's all right. Uh, okay, now let's do an upside down triangle here, just for the, the beak. A lot of times they have a little small beak, I've noticed. Okay, cool, and then let's see. Let's make, let's actually, I want them to be sitting on a branch or something. That might be, that's typically where they're at. I guess you can put them in the hole of a tree. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna do like a little branch. So I'm just gonna kind of draw a straight line right across here. Kind of cut off a little bit of the bottom there. And this branch is probably gonna be right here. And we'll stylize this and make this branch look a little cooler as we go. You may wanna add like a little part of the branch. I don't know, you can put little leaves on it. Who knows? We'll do that later. Um, it's hard not to jump ahead. You just, there's a lot of fun things you want to do when you're drawing and I kind of jump all over the place. But let's start, let's keep with the basics. Okay, let's say the tail is gonna be behind this, this, uh, this branch here and we'll put the tail back there. Cool, it'll run off the page and that's okay. Uh, we planned it that way, that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay, and then for the feet, we got two big old talons or toes that they, they have. So let's kind of make those look like little carrots. How about that? Little carrot sticking off of here. 
We'll put them pretty close together. Whoa, that one got away from me. <laughs> we'll fix that up later. That was kind of a wonky carrot. Okay, so you got his little toes, his talons there. And then we'll do, let's just do a line maybe going from this corner. Sometimes it's easy to find places where things already meet and it helps things look a little organized. That's the graphic designer in me. I, did, I do design work and so I always want to kind of figure out where things match up and look kind of nice and I like geometric shapes a lot of the time. So if you aren't that kind of person, then you do what you want to do. Maybe you want to curve that wing. Maybe on this side you want to curve it over. That's totally fine too. I'm just going to make these wings kind of go straight into this little corner here where my line meets up with this oval. All right, so we got the main shapes. That's going to look weird. I'll have to fix that up a little bit later. It looks a little too far to the left. And then let's do the last little thing for our sketch and the rest of it we can do with the, with the pen. Uh, let's do, let's kind of do the, they kind of have those little, little tufts. Some of them, some owls have these little tufts up here and they kind of look like ears, but they're not ears. Okay, so we'll do this. Maybe just do something cool like that. So we'll just kind of, it's almost like a little S that rolls right into the eyeball. And we'll have it stick up there. And we'll do it over here as well and just kind of have that match up with the top of the head. And you can do whatever you want there. You can even flatten that out if you'd like, however you want to do that. But I think that's pretty good bones, right? They'll look, they look like uh, some good strong bones for our, for our drawing. I think so. I think we're in good shape. All right. So now we need to do is drop in our lines, which is always the most satisfying part of all of this. Oh, you know when I said those aren't ears? They do have ears. Those aren't the ears, but they do have ears. And the ears are so fascinating because they are asymmetrical. Do you know what asymmetrical means? Well, symmetrical means they're exactly the same. The same on both sides. If you were to split it in the middle, it would look the same on both sides. Asymmetrical means it's different. So that means if you look at your ears, you look in the mirror, you'll see your ears. They're pretty much in the same spot on both sides of your head. But for owls, they're not one's higher and one's lower and that's so that they can hear things down on the ground a little better they have like different types of hearing so they can be excellent hunters that's pretty cool kind of makes you wish you had cricket ears doesn't it at least i do okay so let's go ahead and drop in our lines and this is the fun part because we get to clean up whatever we we messed up on or we we don't we don't like okay i'm going to start here on the side i'm going to kind of come around the side of this owl's head i'm going to go on the other side little brackets and then I want to go ahead and drop this all the way back I'm gonna stop it right there where my tree branch is because I don't want to don't want to go over my tree branch okay let's draw the toes first because we don't want to draw those are gonna be on top of the tree branch we want to make sure you draw those first okay let's draw the other ones Maybe they overlap a little bit. There we go, I fixed that a little bit. <laughs> Not sure why they overlap, but that's okay. All right, so maybe we'll make this, instead of just a straight line, we just use it as a guide. Now we can just kind of make it a little bit lumpy, like, a, like an actual stick or an actual branch. And then we can do things like bring it out here, make it a little lumpy. Maybe it goes out a little bit further. Yeah, maybe this is where we, maybe we do add some leaves on the edge of this. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. We'll add a couple little ones at the end here. There we go. That'd be fun. All right, and then we'll go on the bottom here. We'll just go. If you want to add any more knots or branches, you can do that. You're gonna add little rings on the on the like the wood grain. You can do that too. That'd be kind of cool. Um, okay, now the tail. We'll just go straight down with. Let's go back up to that S shape at the top and we'll bring that around that'll kind of help us draw that circle I find it easier if I do this part first then it kind of guides most of my circle go all the way around like that go around over here there we go and if you're having a hard time drawing the eyes because it's hard to draw circles <laughs> Uh, sometimes you can get like a cup or something with, that's round on the bottom and put it down there and then you can trace around it. So if you have like a little cup probably, you can trace around that and get a perfect circle. 
I'm just gonna try to do it with my, but just my hands. We'll see how that. <laughs> it's going okay. Okay, we're gonna draw the middle part of the eye. This is that. This is the actual eye. The other part's gonna be just around their eye. And what I was saying earlier about them just being really fun to draw is they got, you can make all sorts of fun patterns. You can do whatever you want here. I always take a lot of creative liberties with owls because once you get their eyes and their main shape and their little beak, you know it's an owl. So after that, you can go crazy and do any kind of colors or textures or patterns on them and it's just a whole lot of fun. Okay, so I'm gonna maybe do a little, I'll bring it in this way. I might just bring this, instead of going up, I might just bring it flat. Now you can curve that top if you like, if you like that look better. And then we'll add little, little fuzzies, almost like he's got massive eyebrows, big crazy eyebrows. And then if you wanna curve this too, you can curve the beak a little bit. You don't have to keep it exactly rectangular. When I say rectangular, I mean as a triangle. I'm oh, mixing up my shapes now. All right, so then we're gonna do the little eyeballs. So maybe let's have them looking up. We'll do like little half moon looking eyeballs. I want really big pupils on here because they have such cool eyes. I'll leave that blank right now because maybe you want to color that in with a color. I'll probably do it black later, but you can do what you want. So I'll leave that open there so you don't forget. And then let's just take the wings. Let's do a line right there and take another line right back here all the way to that corner again. Well, he's almost done. Let's add a few more lines here just for details, and then we should be good to uh, color this in. Well, actually, we'll have to erase some things, and then we'll color it in. Okay, so for the tail, maybe I'll just do some lines here. That'll be actually fun to color in. Sometimes I add more lines in here if I know I'm gonna color it, just because it's fun. And I can do all sorts of different colors in each one of those lines. That'd be kind of fun. And then for the wings, maybe we'll do some like water waves. Whew. And again, now I have lots of different rings or different areas to color in. And that'll be a lot of fun after this. All right, so how's yours looking so far? You guys having fun with this one? This is one of those that I want you to kind of take some creative liberties. You know what that means? Basically, it just means you do what you want to do. You're the creative, you're the artist, and you get to do whatever you want. So you can change this and make it look, maybe you want a little worm sticking out of the edge here. That'd be kind of cool, a little head popping out, looking up at the owl. Whatever you do, just don't draw a mouse because owls love to eat mice. They actually eat like a thousand a year. That is so many mice. And then they also, when, they, when, you know, when, they're, when they're done with them, when they've eaten it, they eat the mouse whole and they throw it up and it's called a pellet. And inside of it, they have all the fur and all the bones is the only thing that's left. Kind of crazy. Okay, so now if you want to do, we can do more waves for the, for the chest here, or you can do maybe even like zigzags, just to mix it up. That'd be kind of fun. I'm really anxious to see what you guys come up with because I'm sure it'll be even cooler than mine. And then with the eyes, there's, you know, it's kind of cool to leave the eyes like that, but you can also do, make them look like almost like flowers or a sunburst or whatever you want. You could do all sorts of fun things. Maybe I'll do the, look, it kind of looked like a flower in here. Cause why not? We all still know it's an owl, don't we? And like I said, this will be a lot more fun to color in later. Okay, here we go. Awesome. Cool. All righty. Let's take a moment, get our erasers out, and start erasing. And there we are. We finished our owl. Now, did you guys get all that, uh, that pencil off of there? That was kind of hard for me to do. Sometimes it takes an extra little while to try to get all the pencil off. But that's the best part about coloring it is that you can kind of cover up some of those pencil lines. So grab whatever colors you want to use. If you want to use your crayons or whatever else you're going to use to color this in. And let's take a quick moment. I'm going to go and speed past here and color this in while you're doing it as well. And we will meet up at the end there.
Oh, I love how he turned out. He's super groovy, kind of psychedelic. All these colors going on with the with the flowers around the eyes. But uh, yeah, super fun. It looks like an owl. It's definitely unique, and uh, that's why I like it. So how did your guys' turn out? I mean, I'm looking through this lens and I can't see them. So if your parents, if they want to post your artwork, they can take a picture of it and post it on Instagram. Then they can just tag us at Brave Kids Art Club and uh, I'll get a chance to see it. And potentially I can share it on our stories so that everybody else can see it too. It'd be really fun to see what you guys came up with. I'm really curious what colors you guys came up with, what shapes you put in here. So, alrighty. Well, thank you guys again for sticking around and having a fun drawing time with me. It always makes my day. Uh, make sure that you subscribe so, and then you hit the little, once you subscribe, there's a little bell icon and if you tap on that, it'll make it so that you get notifications every single time I have a new course up, which is every day, Monday through Friday, every week, uh, you should get a little notification reminding you that uh, we're here, we're drawing and we're having fun. So as always, remember, you need to be brave, be creative and most importantly, be you. Uh, we'll see you next time.